And we welcome all of our viewers inside a place that the folks around here like to call the vault. And that's Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Carolina Panthers. Taken about seven yards deep. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. carry now this is Johnson and forget about finding a lane he barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield this defense is a difficult one to prepare for one of the best in the league they'll come at you from all angles and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And that's complete, it's Chris Godwin. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. A gain of 14. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Brady now on first down. Screenplay, Johnson. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. And despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're either throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away. Throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And that will be incomplete. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down, and third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Fielded at about the 28. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Panthers will take over now first and 10. executed run by the rookie. It was, and he wasn't one of the higher-rated rookie running backs coming out. He's probably on the next tier. But let me tell you something. If he becomes more consistent and continues to have that drive to be one of the best, we'll see more of that in the future. Get 
Bridgewater, a play fake to McCaffrey. He'll look to throw. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A good game again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. At the 33-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. Working his way for a gain of 7 to the 26. A nice run here early on. It did take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early. Because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. At the Buccaneers' 26-yard line. Second down and three. Bridgewater going to give this to McCaffrey. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. At the 24-yard line. That's a gain of three. It's third and one. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll result in a fresh set of downs. Down at the 23-yard line. Bridgewater now looking to throw on first. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. That catch good for only a couple. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. They're going to run the sweep. It's Samuel. And they've got it inside the 10 at the eight. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are being developed nowadays. These guys look like running backs, even though they're playing out on the perimeter. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And the Panthers are going to have a first and goal coming up as he's out of bounds at the two. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. From the two now, second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. 
Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you along the way, and they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp, guys are focused, everyone's feeling good, and we're seeing it early in this one. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. offense set to begin their next possession. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Brady now to throw. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. Come seven yards on the play, and that'll make it third and one. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. On third down, Johnson. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Seven. Buccaneers, nothing. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And that will come the offense as they take over. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean but in that case that didn't happen zero accountability and a sack resulted don't need it all back at once but you figure they're going to need something here 17 yards to go on second down another try after the first down sack bridgewater Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. But it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now Bridgewater. Now they set up the screen. That's good play. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. 
so many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Bridgewater on first down. Open man is Samuel, complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One of the selling points of the in route is against the quarterback, a really nice sight line to his receiver, and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Able to get seven on that first down pass play, second and three. Shotgun handoff out of McCaffrey. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork. And they add a little bit of power. And you find a way to pick up first downs. second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. From the 41, Bridgewater. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Back Time to give a little credit here. Line. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. Being chased out left. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And they're not going to get the snap off. This might back him out of field goal range. And that'll set him back five. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And the Bucs are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. Buccaneers here, first and 10 at their own 15. And he'll throw right away. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. That catch good for only a couple. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner. Everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. 
So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Shotgun now for Brady. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, it's Brady. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. Teddy Bridgewater. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 0 ball game. in a couple of minutes we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando the coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL this is away but boy headed straight for the sidelines yeah, not a great one there out of bounds in the air and the offense is going to be set up already in enemy territory inside the 45 First down, this is McCaffrey. Now he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Christian McCaffrey. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On second down, McCaffrey. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A gain of 13, it's a first down. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. On the ground, McCaffrey. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Bridgewater on third and two. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's got this inside the 10 to the nine before he's out of bounds. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. At the nine-yard line. Thank <laughs> you. 
And they'll try the option on first and goal. A quick throw by Bridgewater. That's complete. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. At their own 28-yard line. offense set to begin their next possession and with time quickly fading here in the second quarter not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35 so a little extra on top of the big play there it's tough for guys rushing the passer but you have to know when the ball is gone and if you listen officials will tell you ball's gone he didn't pull up. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. On play action, it's Brady. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Brady's pass, incomplete. Intended for Chris Godwin. Brings up second and 10. In completion on first down leads to a second and ten. <laughs> Throwing again. Brady. This throw caught right around the six. And the Buccaneers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! The Panthers out in front, and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. JPP cruising in for the sack that time. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Bridgewater. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down.
From the gun, Bridgewater. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. So after the INT, it's Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. The end result, 21 yards. First down, Tampa Bay. Fake the handoff. Now Brady eluding the pressure right. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been any. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. And he's going to get about four down inside the ten to the nine. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. third down now they set up the screen that's complete and yeah, boy he is very close to a first down but from where they're spotting that football he's going to be a foot or so short the screen good for six but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down So the snap will come from the three, but remember, they don't need the touchdown. They can get the first down if they get a yard, and the ball gets to the two. Now on fourth and inches, they're going to want to talk this over. We get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So the snap will come from the three, but remember, they don't need the touchdown. They can get the first down if they get a yard, and the ball gets to the two. They'll run with Pollard. And not only did he not get in the end zone, he didn't get the first down either. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. And the coach has decided to throw the red flag. He will challenge this play.
The head coach relied on his eagle eye in the sky to make the right call and was told to challenge it, and it looks like it's paid off. And from a coach's standpoint, when you throw that flag, it's probably a pretty tense moment here at Paysall. Yeah, you have that little bit of indecision. You throw it where you feel like you're right, and then you think, uh-oh, did I get it right? In this case, they can celebrate. And how about this starting field position? First and goal from two yards out. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It's a loss of four on the first down play. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Second and goal from the six this time. From the gun, Brady. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Trey Boston. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Coming up on second and seven. To throw is Bridgewater. And this is incomplete. Bridgewater. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. And he finds a man, it's McCaffrey. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A very solid gain of 27. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. This is McCaffrey, and he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, that kind of hit will certainly fire up your team, both on the field and on the sideline. Tackles for loss yardage, they're always welcome. Second and 12 now at the 44-yard line. 
Here's Bridgewater. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he gets this one down to the 24. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front. Completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Now a handoff looking right. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Bridgewater. Forced out to his left. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that. Frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing. Just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. A gain of six yards. It's fourth down. That's the One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Joey Sly for the Panther field goal. A 40-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Working from the gun, it's Brady. This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. 56, Mike, 56, right there, right there, 56. Six man. Check cross, check cross, check cross. Shoot, shoot, shoot. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. 
Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Operating from the gun. Brady into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eli Apple. The 30. The 20. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. First and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? On second down, Johnson. And Johnson lost the football. It's loose, poked out, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing is ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. They'll run with McCaffrey. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? He just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. keep it on the ground and they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line that one good for 10 yards and that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here it's on the pickup it's second and inches at the 13 yard line here's McCaffrey and he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Now a first and 10 at the 11. And I give this time to the tailback. And he will take it across for Panthers touchdown. A great play there with a 
his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Makes the score, Panthers 31, Buccaneers 3. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All came long. They struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that where you get symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, Brady. This one complete to Scott Miller. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves. But they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Throwing on first down is Brady. He's going to let it fly. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Trey Boston. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10 at their 38. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Denzel Perryman there to bring him down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. At the 42-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. running back and he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there no gain on the play there so they're left with a third down and six it's third down and six the defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. This is taken at the 18. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15-yard return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because 
now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. So this one is over. A victory for Carolina. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second.